This is part two of the graph straightening video. We've already checked uh, for a linear relationship. We found that the R squared value was 0.9546. Then we thought it might be curved upward slightly, so we checked a squared fit, and we found that the R squared value is 0.9998, which is a better fit. But we also need to check the square root relationship because the square root relationship curves upward, and this could be a square root relationship. So we're going to straighten this data, which is also this data, one more time. So again, I'm going to copy and paste the data. And again, I need to uh, straighten this, or I need to manipulate it, but I'm only going to manipulate the x column. That's this column over here. And again, I think it's a square root relationship, so I'm going to square each of these numbers. So let's try that. I'm going to square root 0 0.01. You could do that with your calculator, or you can do it with Excel again. And I can do that for each of these, or, like I showed you in the last video, I can use a formula, in which case I would click on this cell. Oops. I would take the square root of that cell. And I can do it for the next one, too. And in fact, like I showed you before, you can just drag this down and it does it for all of them so that this is the square root of A7. That's a7 is right here. That's the square root of that one. Now, as before, I'm going to graph this data. So I'm going to insert graph. We still always choose scatter. And I'm going to add a title to each of the axes and a title to the graph as a whole. Now, this to me does not look any straighter, but I'm going to check just in case. So I'm going to right click on one of the data points, add a trend line. Make sure it's linear, and make sure I can sh show the equation in the R-squared value on the graph. You can see the fit now is 0.8794. So between our three graphs, this is the worst fit. So it's for sure not a square root relationship. In fact, I'm just going to delete it, because I know it's not that relationship. I'll delete the data, too. This is my best fit. I know it's the best fit because it has the highest R squared value. Remember, R squared equal to 1 would be the best. It would be a perfect fit. This is the best fit that I think I can come up with. I know it's, again, I know it's not an inverse because that would look like this. I know it's not an inverse square relationship because that would also be going down. So a square relationship is the best. Now remember, to get these values over here, I squared them. In fact, you can see that in the formula bar. So I'm going to go back to my graph and make sure everything's titled properly. And my axis title here is M&Ms, but this time it's squared because I squared all those M&M values. And here I have telephones but I didn't mess with those, and I will never manipulate the Y column. And then lastly, the title. And the title can be the same as before. Because it's all true. When someone's reading this graph, they'll know that it's a squared relationship. And the last thing I want to do is make sure that these variables reflect what I've actually graphed. So my Y variable was T for telephones, and instead of X, I'm going to put M for M&Ms, and I did square it, so I'm going to put a squared in the equation as well. Again, I see no purpose in this, so I'm going to delete it, and I'll move this down just so I can see everything a little bit better. There you go. That's how you straighten a graph and find the best fit.